Yeah, some. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Right. Oh, nice. All, right. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to Three Guys Five Feet Apart. This would be episode 30, and it's kind of a celebration of the one year anniversary for the podcast. We have been, we've already been past that. We are actually past a year. I think it actually officially mm-hmm. started in like November or December. Wow. But it's been a while since we've gathered up to actually record, so this will be the, the one-year anniversary edition. Could you sound a little more excited? I'm pretty excited. Okay. <laughs> we actually have a game. Jonah do? planned a game for yes. us tonight. Uh, Jonah, would you like mm-hmm. to explain the game? Let's play So we all know just just how weird the Japanese can get with their titles and their anime and their manga. Sometimes... It's like a whole sentence. All right. With the craziest stuff. And what I'm going to have you guys do is guess what's real and what's not. We have 11 anime names. Well, there's technically 22 anime names. Names like characters? Uh, or titles, names, like titles, titles of names, shows. Titles of <laughs> shows. 11 of them are real and are actual animes or mangas. 11 of them are not. So each the question you have a 50, 50 shot. that had a good chance at doing this is Austin, Austin and yeah. he's not here. Yeah, that's why we're doing this without Austin. It's going to be great. All right, Jonah, would you like to... Are you guys ready? Are you guys tough, confident? Do you I'm know? not confident at all. How many do you think you're going to get right? Chris? Actually, I think Chris logics these out. And, right? like, aren't yeah, most well of them... Uh, like, <laughs> like, don't they not translate some well deep, to English? Yeah, that's the reason why the titles are so long. Okay. Use some deep logic, yes. I think. You can get it. All right. All right. I think I'm Chris confident. is uniquely uh, qualified because he's outside of the yeah, anime Yeah, Chris realm. does well with this stuff. And so, Jonas, I start feel like this is question. just a long way of saying Chris is smarter yeah, than you Alex. Yeah, you're a smart dude. Sorry, man. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. They're back in. I think you. this uh, first one we have is a little easy. Okay. It's not, slide you. Not, not too crazy. Okay. So, there's two titles. I'm going to read them out. A and B. A and B, and you uh, guess which one's right. All right. So for A, I've been killing slimes for 300 years and maxed out my level. No, you don't buzz it. No. (laughs) B, I've been killing goblins for 300 years and maxed out my level. See, that's hard because I know there's enemies about us. (laughs) <laughs> about uh, blobs or <laughs> slimes or whatever they're called. There's and there's ones about goblins. So. That's why it's that's why I'm taking my shot on slimes. Yeah, okay, slimes. I was, yeah, I'm not doing that just because he's doing that. I'm really not. If that keeps up, I'm gonna penalize you. <laughs> I heard slime and I was like, yeah, that's it because I know. So is that is that how I, I became name? a slime or my something reincarnation as a slime? Yeah, yeah currently there's been a lot of, yeah. lot of slime going around. Yeah, the lot of Nickelodeon. I got ones too. I wasn't as sure right. about that one. So you guys go with A? Yeah. yeah. Both yeah. got it right. Both yeah. get a point. That's what I'm talking about. The the actual up these nuts. Title, I've been killing mm-hmm. slabs for 300 years and maxed out my level. Okay. Jonah, All right. I mean, this is where we're going to get a little crazy. The men from the boys separate now. Oh boy. A, my harem is so large, I'm going to die. That's B, the eighth son. Are you kidding me? Okay. Before we answer, <laughs> I, I think that Alex you guys. <laughs> I think that you guys should count to three, so we both say our answers at the same time, so there isn't any okay. in influencing um, me or me. That, you that. guys can discuss them. Yeah. Discuss about yeah, it. I want to talk about this. Can yes. you, you know, repeat that one more time? The, the eighth son. Are you kidding me? That's the, B. the eighth, like the eighth, the eighth son, son. Are you okay. kidding me? Uh, like a, a lot of we love to like S-O-N? make their type. They oh, pose yeah. S-O-N. Yeah. S-O-N. And okay. then an A is my harem is so large, I'm going to die. I, I find it funny how a lot of animes they, they pose their title as a question. Yeah. It's always so funny. Hmm. Okay, I, I got I, mine. Uh, I do too. Okay, one, two, three. A. <laughs> Chris, you are correct. This is correct. About, <laughs> That's right. what I'm talking about. When I was looking up, you know, I, I like I found all the correct answers. When I found yeah. this, I just burst yeah. out. Jonah found all the correct ones and sent them to me, and then I made up all these fake ones. But like, so, I have I have no, no idea what this is about. Yeah. 
So that's why I want Joe to read them too, because like, Joe doesn't know the fake ones I made. Well, he was another to point in time, we should go back to the ones you've made and come up with storylines for them. That's actually a brilliant idea. Well, All right. Like, if, the... if I didn't, you know, help make this list, I would have never guessed that a B was a real thing. Oh, yeah. A does sound a lot more like it would it be does. a real anime. Uh, just because so many ones are about, like, harems and stuff. Hentai is pretty popular. It, it, harem's actually even just a genre. It's not even a hentai. They'll use harem sure. as like a genre to describe <laughs> when there's like one male protagonist and a lot of female characters, and they all have an interest in them, even if there's like no actual sex in it. Well, three way is also a category too. And I mean, Pornhub. It's my favorite. We're not <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, question three. All right. So for number three, a my level is too high. I can't cut my hair. B, after being rejected, I shaved and took in a high school runaway. Fuck. <laughs> I love Alex's reaction to every single one of these. <laughs> it's just, they both, A sounds like the story of Samson. It could be. It could, could be like the Japanese. They made anime about like gods and stuff from Western culture. Sorry, can you say them twice? Because like just, <laughs> yeah. I want to think about it a different way right now. <laughs> My level is too high. I can't cut my hair. After being rejected, I shaved and took in a high school runaway. Okay, I have mine. Okay, Hold on. <laughs> I think I have mine. I think I'm I have wrong, a strategy, but... and I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. One, two, three. A. The correct answer, gentlemen, is B. Is B. <laughs> See, I thought, I thought, I thought it could, yeah, I thought it could be A because I was like, well, maybe there's a anime for like the Japanese take on Samson. And I was like, you know what? That has, is. I mean, I figured there probably is, but like, I thought maybe that was it. like an anime comic book about it. It's called, yeah. a, it's called a manga. Oh, or yeah. <laughs> I have a manga about Samson that I got when I was a like, kid. after Alex now. Yeah. <laughs> we can't. We are on question four now. Jonah, read it out for us. Is it two? It's two to two, right? Uh, it's, yeah. I mean, you each got one point in the beginning, and then you each got one point on your own. So, so yeah, yeah, two to two. two. All so right. Still, we gotta, so, don't we gotta, worry, there's, a, there's 11, so one of you is going to be the definitive winner. Okay, we got to keep track because I want to win. So. All right, I know. No, you, you've I, been winning too much lately. Okay. Yeah, Jonah, yeah, yeah. question four. In life? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just feel like it. <laughs> 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 All right, question four. A, I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. B, Excalibur is a sexy girl. I already have mine. <laughs> Same. All right, one, two, three. A. B. You picked A. You are correct. Fuck. <laughs> Man, I thought Chris was going to do better at this. I told oh, you, I have a strategy. What's your strategy? I'm not going to let you know. Okay. All right, three, two. Yeah. All right. I know, I know, I know this, uh, this one that we got right. Oh, about a, about a cute sense. little girl in a VR, uh, some VR game. She just gets a massive shield and rolls over everything. It's pretty fun. Is this the name? Is this the name? Yeah, it's okay. that. Uh, I was, don't want to, because she she's like afraid of monsters and stuff. And so ex- she, wait, he's explaining to us the the manga or the anime yeah. related. Oh, to you got right. So oh, it's I, some I, VR uh, MMO, and she's afraid of all the monsters. So she just puts all of her stat points in defense. Listen, if I was a Japanese girl, I'd be afraid of all the monsters too. I've read enough. <laughs> I know what happens. <laughs> I know what takes be place. Terrifying. <laughs> all those tentacles, man. Exactly. All right, Jonah, question five, I think. Question five. The time I was reincarnated as my wife. B, do you love your mom and her two multi-target attacks? Got it. (laughs) How can you... strategy's working. What what kind of strategy are you using that you already know? I just know. There's there's no way you're going to be able to guess this so easily. One, two, three. B. B. Yeah. B? You are both correct. Damn. All right. I I fought for sure. (laughs) 
you guys were never going to get this. This is the mommy isekai. That one you guys messed up because there is a oh. show called uh, the one time I was reincarnated as a slime. So you just switch that up and you just mom instead. Yeah. 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 Dummy. Uh, this sure. is actually. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I just. This one's one of my favorites. It's about a guy who gets he gets isekai with his mom. His That's mom comes. Like when you get like sent to an alternate world, you die. You get, the, but like by the truck. somehow his mom came along with him and completely ruins his fun isekai experience. That would suck. That would suck. Because <laughs> his mom, it's like he gets average abilities, mm-hmm. and his mom gets all the cool stuff, ah, and is yeah. completely taking yeah. his spotlight. And he's like, "Mom, Just get away him. from me! Yeah. Just yeah. kill her!" <laughs> it's his mom. He has average abilities. He can't even do it if he wants. Damn, you would yeah. just kill your mom. I'd hire people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's dark. Put a, I'd, let's let's put it on before Alex says anything else. Let's put together a team. All right, <laughs> the Avengers. Next yeah. question. <laughs> Avengers. Can you kill Bob? I mean, you already you got, got it once. You're in a different world, so it's not like mm-hmm. as crazy. He didn't kill her to get there, though. I know, but now he's gonna kill her to get power. Anyway, next okay. next question, Jonah. Hey, and you thought there was never a girl online? B, going online looking for a succubus. I got mine. See, Chris, Chris, I think I have mine. Okay, think? ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. A. I love how you guys consistently take different. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is A. That's what I'm talking about. Tied up. Tied up again. Four, four. That's what, game. That's, that's what I'm talking about. It's coming out of the wire. I was not really sure on that one, to be honest. <laughs> Strategy My strategy failed. failed. <laughs> I have a strategy and I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna write until the end. Like you guys can like <laughs> talk well, about not. it and try to theorize yeah, what so these curious. animes would be about. Yeah, I'm so curious okay. what you guys' strategy. Is okay, so you want us to theorize what yeah. we'll talk about it a little bit. Okay. Okay. Jonah, the next question. Hey. I messed up and made the wrong person into a magical girl. B, magic girl harem battles. I got mine. <laughs> I do too. You guys don't want to talk about it beforehand? I do. It's just like that requires some creativity that I don't have. <laughs> um, well, no what, was, what was the first one again? The first one was I messed up and made the wrong person into a magical girl. Hmm. I feel like that's a really Japanese twisted take on Honey, I Accidentally Shrunk the Kids. Japanese are <laughs> twisted people. <so. laughs> yeah. They really will take uh, Western stories and just put their own crazy spin on them. Like Cowboy that's Bebop. awesome. Like Cowboy Bebop. What's, what's Cowboy Bebop based off of? Um, that's just a Western. You know, space anime. Cowboys. Oh, so yeah. it's just... Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. You guys ready? Yeah, I thought I was, but... Oh, the more I think about it, I switched my answer and I don't know. You good? Okay, yeah. I'm just going to go for it. Three, two, one. A. You are correct. correct. Thank God. I switched my answer. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, this is a nail biter. Who knows who's going to win? The second one sounded more like an anime. But then I was like, I feel like it sounds like it could totally be real. Yeah. Have just magic (laughs) girl harem battles. Two harems go toe to toe. Exactly, it's like almost Pokemon, but with sexy girls. Dude, that sounds awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Keep it in your pants, Alex. All right, Joe. Don't give us the next one. (laughs) The next one for a cautious hero. The hero is overpowered but overly cautious. B, the hero with two swords can't fight a girl. <sighs> this one. Like every time I read this out, Alex just lets out this huge sigh. Yeah, you sound like okay. every single question. I've been can I can I hear them? I can I hear them why. again? Yeah. <laughs> A cautious hero. The hero is overpowered but overly cautious. <laughs> B. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> the hero with two swords can't fight a girl. The Japanese like to make fun of guys and. I'm against them. They do. 
I, like I have, I have my pick. This is entirely based on your Japanese like stereotypes. The Japanese, <laughs> you know, like all the Japanese shows that I watch that aren't like hardcore, like like action, like Attack on Titan or whatever. It's always like cutesy, fun little things, but it's like super like sexual, and it's always all these okay, like, really strong tangent. women and these small, tiny guys, and they're always like hey, making fun of them. I, have a I, I dream of big buff ladies. Yeah, nice. I have a quick tangent related to that. There is a bar in, Jap- in Japan with only like muscular women that run the bar. Bro, that'd be so awesome. Like what muscular bar. Asian person looks like. <laughs> Or Asian woman. Yeah, I was about to say they, they have existed. You've right? never, yeah. never seen a muscular, seen a muscular Asian? Asian woman. I've like, mm. seen Asian woman. It looks men. like a regular woman, just Asian. Just buff. Yeah. yeah. Just hop down. <laughs> Damn that, that bar, we should go to that bar. It we sounds should. so Let's awesome. Go to Japan and go to that bar. Hey. Apparently, they like make lemonade by like squeezing the lemons right in front oh, of you. Yeah. Yeah. Put it between the their boobs. Yeah. Just... No, I'm like, why do we have the same <laughs> size? <laughs> okay, anyway, you guys have your answers? Uh, yes. I'll be on mine. Shit. Um, we kind of like went off. Yeah. And talked about See, something for me, completely I different. Be either one. Talking about it lemonade titties. <laughs> <laughs> you could have some heartburn. Um, uh, fuck. Okay. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. A. You are correct. Oh, oh my correct. <laughs> Why are you it's still tied oh, up? 6-6. Oh, yeah, because we keep kidding. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are yeah, agreeing. Uh, We're doing pretty good, Cautious though. Hero is a nice comedy. Just, uh, like, wait, he, like, he's super powerful. But, like, the thing is, every fight he goes into, and he's analyzing every single detail when he totally doesn't need to. Sounds like a weed. <laughs> yes. Sounds like um, One Punch Man if he was, like, super cautious. Yeah, it could be. It's like One Punch Man, but he's going into every fight thinking of every single possible so thing that can happen. How does he fight them? If he's because like, wouldn't he just leave himself open if he's thinking about every possible scenario? No, oh, he never cautious. leaves himself open. It's too cautious. Yeah. All right, you guys ready for the next one? Hit me with All it, right. Jonah. Uh, these last three, I I, I completely I forget. So okay, you right. found these, these ones. That's really why. Like even I, even I don't know which one's right, or which one's not here. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. A, my girlfriend is a shonen shonen protagonist. B, butt attack Punisher girl Gotaman. I feel like that's too. Oh man! Like, how could that just be made up? <laughs> I mean, technically, they're both made but, up, yeah. someone had to... Someone made it. <laughs> okay, say them again. <laughs> My girlfriend is a shonen protagonist. It's gonna come down in his last And then, butt attack Punisher girl Gotaman. <laughs> Man. I, I think I got mine, but I'm, just, I'm not confident in it. You guys are looking Man, like, I'm so like, stressed this, out. This is the high school game. I haven't even seen you guys act this way. You're like taking a test before. Like, I don't know which yeah, one's real. Like, I want to say <laughs> be, what I, I want to be real is the butt attack Punisher. <laughs> sounds so fun. <sighs> yeah. It sounds so ridiculous that it could be a real thing. It could but be. Also, so it sounds could be too ridiculous. Yeah, that, that, like, that Michael made it up. I'm leaning on <laughs> Yeah, Michael. Okay. okay, I got my answer. Anyway, yeah, so do I. Three, two, one. Hey. You are both wrong. Oh what? My God. But attack punch is girl. Should... Go to my I'm... Is... <laughs> guys, guys, after this, we're we're watching But Attack Punisher. I need There's... to see what this so is. I, I, I looked up weird anime names to finish out the list, and the one I found, this one, but like it had one image to represent the anime, and it's like, you know how like celebrities put their hands in the cement? It uh-huh. was the same thing, but with butt prints. Nice. I don't know anything else about the story, but that's just the picture that on like uh, the corn stars. No, like Hollywood, like wherever they do that. Difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Switch it up a bit. You see one guy with a schlong. When we look at like this from the podcast, that's fuck. what we're gonna do when they like give us our our uh, block on the Walk of Fame. We're all gonna have like, zip and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so now we can see who the real man is. Here. Yeah. We should really I'm be just the show. be afraid of accidentally getting my dick stuck in the cement. That's true. Well, you if gotta you do get it hard, hard, then you should. But if you can't, <laughs> yes. 
live with it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you do it soft, everyone's going to see how small your penis yeah, is. Yeah, but you can just write like soft in your. Uh, <laughs> soft. You gotta, you gotta let everyone know yeah. the reason why yeah, it looks get it small is because you write soft. soft. <laughs> like, oh my sharper. god! <laughs> it's like my dick is much bigger when it's hard, guys. You gotta believe me. <laughs> I a, swear yes. it's cold. I'm a it's grower, so cold. Not a shower. <laughs> What's next? Yeah. Is it the last next. one? No, no we're there's two more. more. Oh, there's two more. Okay, here we go. So, a. I thought that was it. What are we going to do if there's a tie at the end? Is there going to be a tiebreaker? We're going to oh. make a new one. Somebody has to win. <laughs> if no, maybe if no one... the real winner is me and the yeah. friends we made along the way. <laughs> we're going to throw you off the balcony. <laughs> Freaking stupid. <laughs> I'm so sorry for anyone who's not. You were just been but no one could yes. smell it on the podcast. Oh. I was talking to you guys. <laughs> not the, not I'm the sorry to our viewers who have to smell out. <laughs> really All soak right. it in. Uh-huh. So next one. A. I couldn't become a hero, so I reluctantly decided to get a job. Okay. B. The devil cursed me with a huge penis and a harem. It's another. <laughs> I think I got mine. I think yeah. I got mine. Yeah, Chris is preparing to go. Mm. It's, well, it's so 50, 50 shots, so you know you yeah, gotta call your I'm shots. I'm just, just like confused on like how does a curse get okay, a huge penis? I have a blessing. <laughs> a blessing yeah, from the Lord, yeah. unless it's like <laughs> the size of your leg. But I'll read That'd it again. Worse. The A, I couldn't become a hero, so I reluctantly decided to get a job. I got, I got mine. All right. All right. Three, two, one. A. Yeah. Both correct. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Seven seven. Why'd you say damn? I said because we're tired. Oh, because we so. can't. We can't. We can't break. Yeah, so if this one, if you guys don't pick separate. What does that mean for your game? Does that mean it's too easy? Because we get. Yeah. I mean, you're both at like seven, so that means if you don't, if like you only, if you get the next one right, then you. Is this the last? This eight is, out of eleven. Is this the last one? That's still passing, right? Yeah. Is this the last one? But again, it's yeah. 50, 50 We didn't do like A, B, or C. It's not like the stand game where you guys had to like make everything up off the top of your head. So this is an easier game. Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. All right, so we have a little bit of a chance. Hit up with the last one. All right, for our last one, A. I need to get laid or a succubus will take away my penis. I already got mine. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way that was worded. Yeah. Michael wrote that. 100%. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it can be real. No. But B is, Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Yeah, B. I'm going to go with A. Okay. I'm going to go You're with A. So this, something this will be it. The correct answer the is... God damn it. Yes. Alex won the game. Hell yeah. yeah. You know too much Alex, about Michael. So, this game's up there. Yeah, no, so my strategy was thinking about the way Michael would word things. <laughs> See, that's what I was actually really <laughs> concerned do. about. Because I was like, man, if they start basing the game off of me, then that's just going to ruin the game. My my strategy was uh, whichever answer was the longest, <laughs> that's, that's the one. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's actually a, a good strategy to take. You know, these titles get really long. That's what yeah. I thought it was. See, I wanted to include one like, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? But I feel like Alex would have already seen, seen like promos for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could have picked like. Uh, I could have picked like simpler name ones like Interspecies Reviewer. Interspecies Reviewer? Yeah. I thought about like doing one. I thought about doing Bleach. And then like for the other one, doing like. Like drinking bleach? It, it, it's an anime called Bleach. Oh. Uh, and for the, I've heard of that. Yeah, so I was trying to think of like, maybe I could do bleach and then like Quindex. So that was, what did you guys think of the game? I enjoyed it. I'm mad I lost. Yeah. But it's just my one I'm point. I'm, I'm glad. You've been winning too much lately, Chris. Turned out what? Uh, you won the last two games of Twilight and Grimm, you won the last, last game of Risk. Risk. Yeah. That's true, I guess. You're, you've been winning all the time, and quite frankly, I'm sick of it. That's not going to happen today. Well, <laughs> <It's not. laughs> so I don't know. Um, I don't know if I feel like Jota would be the only one that I've, that has done this. But have you looked up like the factions and like the rankings and stuff like yes. that? You yeah. have you I done have that too? To, I, I kind of like, and then, and then I pick 
videos where it's like it gives you all the strategies against right. if somebody else picked a certain faction. So, oh, I haven't seen those. So, <laughs> but so I, I, when I looked it up, it was like yeah, Universities of Jolnar is, is uh, top tier, S tier. Yeah. If there's an S plus tier, it's on that mm-hmm. tier. So and I was like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Sarkad Nor is a uh, bottom tier. Yeah, which kind of it's like it made me not want to play them, but at the same time, it's like. I still really want to play them. Think about it, though. If you can play them and make them work, that makes yeah. you like the best player. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was shocking? So, like, Chris, is Chris only won because... Uh, I guess so. I didn't think <laughs> I was. Is just uh, playing overpowered uh, top-tier well, stuff. That's I, why I, he's I winning. I saw the technology, and I was like, oh, yeah. Definitely oh, yeah. going to wreck the technology. And it, it did well. Yeah, it did well. I'm going to save on next time, so you guys can't... I want to use the snake people. Oh, the snake, 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 people, snake people are also no, top I, tier. Know, even yeah. the snake people have a second choice anyway. I want to off the big like, bras. Really, like, the only thing that makes the snake people good is, is that, that they zero? always go first. Yeah. And they well. score first. Yeah. I want them. I've been watching a lot of and they have titties, support. and they have titties. <laughs> that's what that's what really propels that's the top. It really tier. pushes like, them forward. Inside, five reptile races have booms, like, and that doesn't make sense. Why? Well, it's so I supposed to be. We need booms. Because yeah, booms are, are a, a mammal trait. Because yeah. they provide milk for their young reptiles. Don't do that. So, like, why do these reptile races? I wonder this? if it's. Have- Right. Make money. Here's, money. here's a long-winded connection. Okay, so, you ready for this? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the the snake... You're like the, the conspiracy... <laughs> yes. Like the the X-Files theme. <laughs> <laughs> the, snake that, the snake that tricked um, Eve... So like he like manipulated her. Or something. Yeah, you know, he like, you know, like he like... Uh, he saw her and was like, I need to replicate that. <laughs> and then reptile... Replicate well, reptile. There's oh, that. These are That's space another reptiles. thing. Are you implying that like <laughs> Satan was a space reptile? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's yeah. like we view snakes because of that story as like manipulative, and sometimes that goes hand in hand with seductive. Sex. So then you add boobs. I mean, yeah, the boobs. general idea of like being afraid, like snakes. The dots. If you look at like a, from an anthropological point of view, like. Every species on Earth has like an almost ingrained fear of snakes. Yeah, that's weird. And in, in, in our mythology, snakes are always like a negative thing. In right. North mythology, there's the snake that wraps around the Earth that's going to destroy it. In uh, Christian mythology, you have the snake in the Garden of Eden. Right. Snakes are always portrayed negatively. Mm-hmm. So th- there's like there's probably like anthropological reasons why like humanity's like snake bad. I think a lot of it goes back Snake to like bad. Our, our ancestors. Dog good. You know? <laughs> yeah, we never had to fight dinosaurs. But I bet those are probably some pretty things. Like they've had, in museums, they have like skeletons of like these giant anacondas that used to live in the Amazon. So I mean. There's still some out there. Yeah, but like they have like huge ones. Like tall as buildings. Huge. Yeah, like huge, like 30 feet tall. Almost well, long, I guess. Actually, I've seen skeletons. Yeah. I mean, it I makes it, a lot of sense be afraid of snakes because they're so weird and different to everything else. That's true. Like, yeah. they're only things that sliver on the ground without length. And they're so fast. And Isn't then, that like, that day? the swallow that food right. hole. There you they go. Would. Except without like, the wings. Just imagine being swallowed whole yeah. by a snake. Or, like, I mean, there's so many ways they can kill you. Actually. You, you have know, ones that have venom. Energy. You have ones exactly. that can spit venom. You have ones that wrap around you and squeeze you to death. Like, if you took, all, just just you. If you took all the scales of a snake, would it just be, like, all abs going all the way down? It might be. It is, it is like, just one, one big yeah. muscle of the snake's body. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is literally going to make me have nightmares of snakes. I used to have That's nightmares funny. of snakes. I the remember time. there was a story... Of the, and you guys want to play. <laughs> I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Uh, but there was a story of this woman that owned this owned this snake. I don't know what kind of snake. It might have been an anaconda. I don't know. Um, but she would sleep with the snake every night. Oh my god! That's a red flag. Yeah, she would what? sleep no. in the bed with the snake every night, and usually the snake would like you know kind of coil up. Um, but then it started like laying itself out like long uh, up against her and so um she went to like the vet and was like yeah he started doing this thing where like he would lay long up against me and the the vet was like oh he's trying to measure how tall you are to see how long it would take for him to eat you and i was like <laughs> oh 
fucked up. That's fucked up. Well, it, it, no that's, thanks. That's all animals, though. Like, if you die, your pet's going to eat you. There's yeah. a lady oh, yeah. that, like... I do about dogs. No, no, this is actually the story. <laughs> There's a lady that, like, fainted, and it was, like... So she, she, like, passed out, and it was in such a deep way that, like, it, she wasn't really noticeably alive. She was still alive, but, like, she was just, like, totally out of it. Right. And her dog started to eat her face. Ooh. So like it, it got like one of her she eyes woke up. out. I think someone like found her and got her to the hospital. And then there's like pictures. She's like the she's the reason why it's like the story is known is because I think she's like the first ever recipient of like a face transplant. Oh, wow! Which I, I if you've ever seen people that get face yeah, transplants, they they almost look like the also all sound weird. They almost kind of look like Muppets. Oh no, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good like even they, their like lips are like big they, they, they just look like Muppets. I think it's covering like your years face for like it's a like stop yeah, swelling and like yeah they, they have to go through a lot and I, I'm sure like a couple years down the line they probably look a lot more normal yeah but at first it's like yeah because they're doing all that me. reconstructive surgery yeah, yeah. I mean your face is not supposed to get all that there's not a lot of like skin on right. your face so I cannot imagine if my face got messed up I just wear like a Doctor Doom mask everywhere like a yeah, metal helmet just yeah. everywhere pretty dope yeah, there was a uh, cool. there was the yeah, yeah the rapper he just he's died dead. I MF can take Doom. it now <laughs> yeah he, did he do that because his face was messed up no no, no it was no. just part of his persona he was really good too he was like like um you know how like it was like alternative hip hop yeah he's probably like the biggest one biggest alternative hip hop check him out he's really good I really really like him so, so I mean, yeah. what would you guys do if your face has got like horrifically messed up also random side note before we move forward um, he he wore a mask all the time and it was sad because he died on Halloween so we've been sad. losing a lot of celebrities yeah, like, yeah. that's too much of a coincidence do you think there's like room Maybe. for us now to move up <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, Betty White took a big like chunk of the pie now there's a little bit more to go around yeah, yeah. That, that sweet Betty White audience as that's Betty White's needed. star goes down our star, star rises, rises. <laughs> that's what we need yeah. that's what we need we should be like one of those YouTube clickbait people like I called Betty White at 3am challenge <laughs> <laughs> We should. We should. <laughs> give yeah, us the good. give us the views. It all sweet ad revenues. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys got your face like horribly messed up, but like you could still, you you can still smell and see and taste and hear. Like the function's not messed up, but like ooh, if you could pick a face, if you could pick someone's face to put over your face, a la Face Off starring Nicolas Cage. Yes. I'm um, just getting some porn star. Really? Yeah. Johnny porn star. Sins. I'm going to get Johnny Sins. We're, we're like, <laughs> Johnny shows up for the podcast one day. It's like, why is Johnny Sins? Why is my doctor here? <laughs> <laughs> why is my mom? Why, why is my doctor? That's the police officer. The, why is my mom's or, doctor I here? I also see him as a firefighter. He's oh, very, hold on. He has a very wide career. He's got yeah. more jobs than Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I, I know whose face I want, but his name is escaping me right now. That the uh, the guy that played Jack Sparrow. Johnny oh Depp. yeah, I want Johnny Depp. That would be cool. He's old though. Dude. Oh, I yeah, want like his yeah. younger face. Oh, give me mm-hmm. a younger Johnny Depp would be super. I was hot. asking what you would do if like your face got messed up, not what face do you want. Yeah, well now <laughs> it's about what now it's about what face breaking into Johnny Depp's house and carving off his face <laughs> and putting it all like a mess. It's like in the it's like in the office. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Clarice <laughs> I didn't think it looked very real in the movie turns out it was <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'd do honestly would you just like give up or would you like try to go through that uh, so we, we, we all know what Austin would say kill himself. kill himself I feel like it would be yeah. I feel like like you know you got Chris Evans and Henry Cavill who I think are very attractive uh, human beings but they're attractive because they're swole it's yeah. not because of their I mean I guess they their faces nice too faces, but yeah, think about it like if you look like, like Chris so, Evans face yeah. on like my body <laughs> it wouldn't look yeah, it would just, <laughs> just look like a normal man <laughs> yeah just be like oh his face is nice but man the rest of them what's <laughs> happening I would, I would go, I'd go with Tom Holland if I can go after Zendaya 
Yeah. Tom Holland. Yeah, good one. Again, so you've carved off Tom I mean, Holland's face, like, and now you're like breaking into the dance place. It's like it's it's Tom Holland. It's me, Tom. You're putting the face on a much smaller person, Just onto a much it, bigger like, person. If it worked, where like you take weird. his face and he gets your face, and you both wake up in the morning, and Tom just like, what the fuck? This is literally <laughs> yeah. the plot of Face Off. You want to swap faces with people? Remember, your face is messed up, so they're getting... Face good. Off is just a darker version of that Freaky Friday movie with Lindsay Lohan. That was a good movie. Let's not talk about Freaky <laughs> Friday. <laughs> uh, um, so, like, like I said, none of you really answered the question, how would you live your life with a messed up face? All well, if I, was, if I was Tom Holland, faces. I'd make more Spider-Man what movies. Do mean, what do you got to do with it? Like... I mean, you just yeah, you really work. Up, just, like you just you have to. You want to kill yourself? Going. Yeah, yeah. You so you keep going and kill yourself. That's it. That's it. Yeah, but like, how would you keep going? Would you wear a mask? Would you just like go out in public and be like, "Listen, I got a messed up face. No, I just yeah, kill probably. myself." Yeah. Would you try to get like a Phantom of the Opera mask and like live under theaters and sing to people? <laughs> no, I can't sing. I've never seen Phantom of the Opera. I haven't either. It's. I've never. It's I don't even. Know, I don't know the storyline. So. It's, a, right, it's a, a performer that gets his face messed up and then he falls in love with another performer and he like lives in the sewers under the opera. Damn. Or, yeah. Did he kill people? I don't think he did, but I'm not sure. Mm. No, I don't want to see it. Really? That's your, that's your, he's got to kill people. <laughs> uh, there was a, actually, it's a Liam Neeson movie uh, called Dark Man. Okay. And it's about, he's like a scientist. And he's working on facial reconstruction stuff, basically like almost three D printing people new faces. Was Sounds this is kind of going racist, Dark Man. Don't. <laughs> Liam Neeson pulls a, a, a Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to save the city is to become a black man. <laughs> um, That's such a good so, like, eventually, I think the mob breaks into his lab, and for some reason, there's like a tank of acid there, uh-huh. and they dunk his face in there. And also his hands get all burnt up too. And so the whole movie revolves around, he, he gets sent to like this rehabilitation place, um, but they can't ID him because his face is all messed up. Yeah. And to manage the pain, they disconnected his like pain centers. So he can't feel any pain at all. Nice. And because That's of nice. it, he gets like stronger and faster and he breaks yeah. out and basically he's kind of insane. Um, so basically he decides to go after the, the uh, mob. He resets up his equipment so he can try to like get his life back. Cause he's yeah. like, okay, I'll just 3d print myself a face, uh, my yeah. old face. Um, sounds so, like Deadpool a little bit. Yeah. A little but bit. Without the I mean, healing. he can't heal. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's an all right movie. I don't think it's amazing. It's definitely Liam's early work. There's like a yeah. scene where like he's, he's going on like his date with his girlfriend with those like his new 3D printed face. Right. But like it only lasts for like three hours. So in the day it starts like, <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it starts bubbling and he starts like freaking out. Because part of like, like the injuries is he acts oh, more er- like erratic or something. Could you not? <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Gas gas about about you had to eat Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. That's it's crazy. It's when I hang out with you guys. Yeah. I, you ate Taco God. Bell right before you hung out. Maybe yeah, it was the You Taco gassed Bell. yourself up. Yeah. It's, you know what? Adam, this just made me thought of it. it. Made me think of it. What was really sad, even when I was growing up, the, the scene in Fantastic Four when, like, Ben Grimm goes to see his wife. Oh, yeah. That's the original Fantastic Four had so much heart with Ben Grimm. Yeah. <laughs> like of all the people, in all reality, the Ben Grimm and I think Reed Richards were like the two best casting in that. Jessica Alba, Jessica she Alba, first. she was hot, was really but I don't think she was an amazing Sue Storm. Chris Evans did all right as Human Torch. I didn't like, did not like Doctor Doom. I thought mm. he was all right as Doctor Doom. In my opinion, he didn't have the like composure of Doctor Doom. He was too prone to like lashing out. Doctor yeah. Doom's always like a chill dude. He's mm. he's always got like plans and backup plans. So even if things go wrong, I was just reading a comic today. I went to the comic book store as always, and like. He's he's pissed. Him and Scarlet Witch take on the demon Scython, mm-hmm. um, and he's like about to absorb his power. And Scarlet Witch like casts a spell on Doom, and like he erupts into flames. And then like at the end of the comic, they're like meeting in one of like one of his like spare castles, and he's mm-hmm. like, "You stole the power I was about to take." She's like, "So?" He's like, "You also set me on fire." So he's like pissed off at her. <laughs> Did he do it then? No, she like destroyed it because it was a Doom bot oh. the whole time. <laughs> Doctor Doom's the kind of guy, and I love him, but he has this huge issue with his character that always kind of makes me cringe. 
even when he loses, he acts all like high and mighty afterwards. <laughs> like, well, losing was all part of my play, even though he's like upset. He's like, man, I don't want to. <laughs> I wanted to take the sword to the gut. <laughs> and he, he's had moments where like it's entirely. There's moments where he does like outright win. There's moments where it's like, why didn't you just let Doctor Doom win? Because he's trying to be good. Kills yeah, in a secret in Secret Wars, the 2015 edition. Like he he tells Reed to his face. Reed, Reed was like, "Oh, you made this planet so you could be a god and rule over it." And Doom was like, "You built a life raft for you and your family to escape the dying multiverse. I challenged all of the Beyonders in order to save what fragments of the multiverse still remain." He's like, "You ran away. I saved what I could." And then he's like, "So you really think you would have done better?" So and I'm like. I'm reading this comic, I'm like, why is Reed being such an asshole? Doom saved, he didn't save all of it, but no one could save all of it. Your your plan was to run away with Reed. Doom's plan was like, I'm going to save what I can from the dying multiverse. I would have run away. Yeah. <laughs> That's why, yeah. That's why you're not Dr. Doom, Alex. <laughs> I wish I could be. Or do I? Think about it. You'd have a messed up face, but you own a country. You're the dictator of Black Barrier. <sighs> it's really give and take. Yeah, it's really give and take. Listen, Doctor Doom gets women. They ta- there's plenty of women out there that more than tolerate messed up face because they, they're attracted to power. And he's mm. got tons of power. I mean, like, I mean, it's about drive. It's about power. Well, he's still we got still it down there. Uh, he still has a <laughs> put in the work. Okay, take with that. He's, not, <laughs> he's hooked up with Morgan Le Fay with his mask. With his his face still messed up. Uh, he's hooked up. He had a girlfriend. Did he hook up with a Madam Mask. Uh, no. You're thinking of Iron Man. Did he bang Scarlet Witch? Or not Scarlet Witch. Um, yes, he did. He did bang Scarlet Witch. Did he bang uh, Black Widow? What? He did. In, uh, Fucking God. <laughs> uh, no, he's not banging Black Widow. Ah, so we'll make the comic. Does he, he have? Out there. Does he have a metal penis? No, his it vibrates penis when you. <laughs> no, there's <laughs> the only thing that really got messed up was his face. So he can get out of that suit anytime. Yeah, he's not like a cyborg. Like the suit of armor is just to house like technology and mystical stuff. He had a girlfriend who he later turned into a, a suit, uh, like his demon suit. Aw. Yeah, he, he literally sweet. like used her skin to make armor. Yeah. That's true. Like a leather mystic demon armor. That's it was like so powerful because she loved him. And so it, like they, he loved her. The power so of he love. turned her into a suit and it gave him like insane mystical powers because making that big a sacrifice and like wearing it. Hmm. Um, that was like one of his most powerful suits. This, this yeah. is pretty messed up. Other than his uh, Secret Wars suit where he had like the power yeah. of all the Beyonders. So awesome. <laughs> I have a figure of that suit too. And it even comes with a little decapitated Thanos. Really? Yeah. Because remember he's got, yeah, it's yeah. got a little uh, Thanos skull and spine. Yeah, because he just oh, rips the skeleton yeah, out. Yeah, he just rips the skeleton out. Which was so beautiful because like Thanos is always this big bad villain. But in that comic, he does this whole speech to Doom about you're not a real god. He's like, I had the Infinity God. I was a god. You're, you're, you're acting like a king and kings aren't gods. He's like, God rules and judgment and authority. And then Dr. Doom's just like, do you still have the Infinity Gauntlet? And Thanos is like, no, but even then I'll still be enough. And Doom, not a word, just reaches into him and like pulls out his spine with like his skull on it. Like in the process of disintegrating all of his flesh, he's like, that would appear untrue. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I really hope whenever they do Dr. Doom in the Mar- which they all get around to it. Yeah. I really hope they do it. I feel like there are certain characters in the Marvel universe that if you really mess it up, you could just ruin the universe. Yeah, fans will, would not be happy if they like messed up Doctor Doom. Yeah, I've, and they've had because they've they've tried it. It'd be the third time them trying it essentially. Yeah. And so it's like you got to get this one right. But we were talking about the Fantastic Four originally, and I do love the original Fantastic Four movies because Ben Grimm is like. They got his character almost perfect in that yeah. movie. Because even though he's always the big, you know, he's the muscle of the team, he's an arguably, technically, arguably, you could say he's the weakest character on Fantastic Four just mm-hmm. because of the limitations of his power compared to everyone else. Right. Um, but he's got like the biggest heart of anyone on that team. He doesn't hate Reed, even though Reed's the reason he looks like a giant rock monster. Mm-hmm. He is always putting himself on the line to defend everyone. He, and he's just such a like simple guy. He loves being like Uncle Ben to uh, uh, Reed and Sue's kids. Yeah, yeah, I did really like. Um, I also, I, 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 I think I say this. Chick. She was blind, but she was hot. Yeah, she was. Um, Kira Washington, I think, is her name. Okay. Yeah, 
So <laughs> he's like, I will look for stuff. She's <laughs> she's really pretty. She was uh, she's in Scandalous. Um, well, yeah. you know, the only downside is I don't think in his rock form that the thing has a penis. Ah. Uh, there was a there was a couple times in the they comics that it's, in, drive, it's implied. I think he still has like a sex drive. Mm-hmm. There's a couple mm-hmm. times in the comic it's implied. One of them was a uh, it actually a somewhat recent Fantastic Four. He actually got married to his blind girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, but he has to hit, and her dad is the puppet master. And so he's super pissed off she married the thing because the puppet master's a villain. Right. So he makes a Hulk puppet and that controls the real Hulk. Oof. Uh, so it's the thing versus the Hulk. And it's like the only time the thing actually defeats the Hulk, basically. Um, he gives him one solid punch in the process and <laughs> knocks the Hulk out and like shoots him halfway across the world but in the process it does like break the thing's arm and knocks off all of his rocks which grow back it's just like oh yeah um but at this point in the comics the thing for one week a year he can transform yeah. back into Ben Grimm oh so he uh, was piping at that point basically that was right after their marriage they timed it so it would co- the honeymoon would coincide with this one week of being Ben Mm-hmm. Um, and he's in a coma for that week after fighting the Hulk. Ah. So he gets like, and he says like, after he gets out, I thought he's like, oh man, I know we wanted to start a family. Uh, at, you know, as soon as during that week, and so like that's kind of more evidence that like the thing doesn't have a penis in his rock form. Mm-hmm. I mean, he also doesn't have a nose and ears, so I mean, you could just kind of chalk it up to like certain appendages just didn't. Yeah, I guess I I liked <laughs> in the um. And I know the Fantastic Four two is like the worst between the two of them, but I'm like I really like the Silver Surfer. I thought he was they did pretty good. So Surfers good. Thing. I loved um, uh, Lawrence Fishburne's voice. The Lactus was just a big cloud in that movie, and you only briefly see like the outline of his like form with the, yeah. the horn helmet. But yeah, some sexy boy. All right, this is episode thirty of the Three fight? Guys by Field. No, is this episode thirty or twenty nine? Uh, this is an episode of the Three Guys Five Feet Apart. Pod. This is episode twenty nine of the Three Guys Five Feet Apart. Well, I podcast. thought you said it was episode thirty. I messed up. Damn, the, the it's not title. episode thirty. Take me off of it. I don't yeah. want it. Well, I'll have to edit out all the Chris parts. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for listening. If indeed you still are, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you all next time. Bye. Also, there's a possibility you might have bad drinks for nothing. Bad drinks for nothing. Bad drinks for nothing. Bad drinks for nothing.